What's going on? My name is Nick, and this is how I started an AI software company with absolutely zero experience or knowledge how to code. In May of 2023, I launched Writeify AI, which is an AI essay generator for students. Over the course of June and July, I added a lot of new tools. Um, Writeify hit over 500 active users, a big portion of those being paid subscribers, and the platform is still growing. And I did all of this without running a single paid ad. Again, I have absolutely zero experience of how to code. I've never really done anything like this before, and this is how I did it. Now, I wanna divide this video into three sections, the plan, the build out, and the marketing. Now, if you're looking to start your own software company or you just like this type of content, then this video is for you and enjoy. Part one, the plan. I wanted to make sure that the branding looked really good. I wanted to make sure that the social media pages and the website kind of use the same colors. So I asked ChatGPT for a bunch of name recommendations and I eventually settled with Writeify AI. Then I got a logo thrown together and kind of settled on a color palette that I would stick to. Then I set up all the social media pages. I would mainly be advertising on TikTok and Instagram just because of like the age demographics. Next, I needed a really good high converting website and landing page. So I chose to host it on Wix. Um, I like how customizable it is. I like how it's easy to use and you can build really beautiful looking landing pages. SEO is super important for a business like this. So I made sure to add a bunch of unique pages like an academic dishonesty page, a showcase with a bunch of AI generated essays, just a bunch of stuff that would rank me higher on Google. And with that, the business was starting to come together. Um, the actual application build out would definitely be the hardest and most expensive part. Up to this point, I've probably only spent around $100 um, between website hosting, a domain, and Canva just to throw the logo together. Now, I originally planned to only start with one tool, but this quickly changed after launch because I needed more added value. I saw some of the competition had a bunch of other tools added on. So while they're marketing mainly their long essay generator, they also have a multiple choice solver, essay idea generator, bunch of other stuff. So Writeify also needed all that other stuff. Um, I think I have around five or six tools now but that makes it a complete product before it felt unfinished. Next, I had to design exactly how the application would look. So once users enter my website or on my landing page and they click sign up, they're then routed to a no-code platform called Bubble, which is where Writeify is actually hosted on. So I went with a really clean design here, um, super simple, just a dashboard, each tool with an icon, name, um, and then a separate page for billing where you can manage your subscription. I will also note that the long essay generator needed to cite sources because it's not just another marketing element, but it kind of makes me a little bit different. Now, speaking of marketing, I only plan to post organic content because we're in summer break and I really didn't feel like my ads would convert super high. Um, there are still people in summer school and that take classes in the summer, but I don't know. I just, I'm holding off on paid ads for now. So now another element into marketing Writeify would be a free trial. I wanted to make sure that I had, whether it's a free month or two or a 14 day free trial, some sort of free feature for people to try it out. And that's when I came up with a freemium model, which is basically you can sign up for free, use the tools for free, but a few of the features are paid, like the long essay generator and the college essay generator. Now that's pretty much it for the plan. Um, again, super simple, just AI essay generator, some other tools, and people would just plug some information in and get an output. Now, now this is part two, the build out. I can't code. So Writeify is built on a completely no code software called Bubble. There's a lot of no code softwares popping up now. Um, I find Bubble to be the easiest to use. So I went with that. But I also like bubble skills, so I went to Upwork to look for a competent developer to build the platform for me. Now here's a warning if you're looking to do this. Do not go cheap. <laughs> This absolutely burned me. Do not go cheap with anything when you're starting a software company or any company for that matter. I thought I would go with a cheap overseas option and it turned out to be a complete mess and waste of time. It turned out to be such a mess that this guy was sending me emails to my personal email, not linked to my uh, Upwork account and Upwork had to issue me a refund and I had to block him on everything. So don't go cheap. <laughs> Turned out fine in the end though. I got my refund and I upped my budget, looked for a US-based developer, and the platform ended up getting finished around eight days after this whole fiasco. And that developer charged me around $1,000 for the entire build out of the platform. Now all that was left was to set up payments. I went with Stripe, um, super easy to use. I've used Stripe before, never had a problem. All I had to do was take their API keys, my OpenAI accounts API keys, and send them to my developer to plug into the 
Bubble app. One final step, I now had to connect the link to the Bubble application to my landing page and boom, launched. Now there were still some bugs with the platform and it was a little slow, but it's getting better over time and I'm still iterating right now. Part three, the marketing. Writeify is not the first or only of its kind. There are a lot of different AI essay writers popping up. Um, I know Grammarly made one. I know um, Chegg is now coming out with an AI tool. So if it's not the first, it's gotta be different or better, or I've gotta take a different approach. And it does have a few um, unique marketing points to it, such as try for free, or that the essay generator cites sources as well as writes full formatted essays. Another key selling point is the price, very low to mid tier compared to other products. Writeify Premium has two options when it comes to pricing. There's the monthly plan of $7.99 per month, and then the annual plan of $3.99 per month or $47.88 per year. Now, since launching, the split between premium users is around 70-30, who purchases the monthly plan versus annual plan. Now, I always think it's a really good idea to have two to three different price ranges when pricing a product, especially online. You should always have at minimum your monthly plan and an annual plan with a discount. Now, when it comes to social media marketing, I mentioned before that I was mainly going to be advertising on TikTok and Instagram, and that's pretty much what I did. I would just take videos of the platform, I would throw a narrator's voice over it, and I would post it um, with trending sounds. I just commented you have a few hours. So how do you now I converted a old TikTok page to be the Rightify one, so it already had a decent following. Um, the engagement rate wasn't super high, but it was high enough to get over 500 users organically. Now I will mention that I had multiple TikTok accounts and Instagram accounts, um, and I was posting around 12 videos per day on all of them. Um, and also for those videos, I got one of my friends to give me some clips for B-roll. That way I had sort of a more personalized ad. Um, it was an actual human being using the platform. It wasn't just a video of the platform. I will also mention that all of the users that signed up, I sent almost every single one of them an email offering a free month or a free two month subscription. Um, I feel like if I gave that sort of free trial that one or two or three of those people would convert to a paid subscriber. Some of the videos actually started to gain some traction and perform pretty well. This propelled the platform to do around 30-ish user signups per day and around 75 I think was the peak day. So pretty successful so far for not running a single paid ad. And with the school year coming up, I definitely plan on running paid ads. Um, probably just run boosted TikTok and Instagram ads. Now I focused a good bit of my attention on SEO. Um, I made sure that I had a bunch of pages in there and I tried to reach topical authority and was grinding out like two or three pages a day on the website. Um, this actually did have some effect. Uh, with my Google Console analytics, I was getting around five to 10 clicks a day, just organically. If any of those converted to paid subscribers, I have no idea, <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna continue to post more SEO content on the website, and hopefully the organic marketing complements the paid marketing, and I can really grow this platform into something where it has a thousand or 2000 paid subscribers. Now I won't lie, I've got a little burnt out with Writeify. Um, having to post a ton of organic content every day um, without seeing crazy results is a little demotivating. <laughs> so a few days ago, I ended up checking up on the platform and to my surprise, there were still people signing up every single day and a lot of those were converting to paid subscribers just off of the old content and SEO. So I'm definitely gonna revisit that now and put a lot more attention and effort into it um, now, if you're looking to start an AI software company or just a software company in general, there's a few things to keep in mind. Do not use the cheapest option when it comes to anything. I definitely paid the price for it. It wasted a ton of my time. It almost wasted a ton of my money. And I definitely could have launched the platform a lot sooner and probably have gotten a lot more subscribers than I did. Also make sure that you have all the proper tools and that you have a really solid plan. What I mean by this is originally in my plan for Writeify, I didn't want to spend any money on marketing, but I ended up purchasing a monthly subscription to Mail Meteor, which is to send blast emails. Again, not a huge deal, but it's little things like those that can really add up when you're doing a huge volume. So make sure that you have a really solid plan and you stick to that plan. And finally, make sure that you have a really good marketing strategy. It's really hard to post just organic content 
um, unless you already have a TikTok page with followers or influencer you're partnering with and have realistic expectations because you're not gonna post four or five videos and just blow up. It's just not how it works. I know my first users on Rightify was just me sending it out to my friends. And always remember that if you're not first, you have to either be better or different. Now, if you wanna ask me any questions personally, either leave a comment or join my Discord, link in description. Thank you, I'm gonna be posting more content like this. I've got a lot of other things I'm cooking, so yeah, subscribe.